Wayne and Deanna, I stand before you today honored to be a part of joining the two of you in holy matrimony. Deanna, I have known you for some time. Through the ups and downs, I have watched you seek to learn and grow as a woman, and I commend you for staying the course. You've always been a woman of beauty, and today is no exception. But as we know from Scripture, the experience of beauty is really the greatest when it's the beauty within, because that does not fade, but instead grows as time goes by. Your smile reflects the attitude and character of the heart, and I challenge you, Deanna, to continue to walk with the Lord and allow Him to lead you in the future. Wayne, you and I are only beginning to get to know each other and it's been a privilege. I shared with Wayne when we first met that I tell young men it's wise, it's wise young men who walk slowly to the altar. And I joked that he may have just set the record. I told him you're either really wise or slow, I don't know. But I'm thinking wise. All kidding aside, I, I want to commend you, Wayne, for also staying the course. Committing yourself to someone should never be taken lightly. And God, who created marriage, demands both individuals to give all to this, this union. It is evident that you love Deanna. And I want to challenge you to also continue to grow as a man and a leader allowing love for Deanna to guide you in your relationship. I want to challenge both of you today. In this world, as we see it, I want to challenge you to seek Christ with your whole heart. Make Him the center of your marriage and your home. Signing papers, exchanging rings, they don't assure the road ahead will be without difficulties. You are going to need grace, patience, and God's love if you're going to continue to build a home into one that will last until death. But I want to challenge you with something that my older brother shared with me. As a couple, learn to dance. Dancing requires two people, and it requires music. God's Word is the music, and you are the couple. And a dance is beautiful when those two people work together and follow the music. If one is always fighting for the lead or there's no union, the dance is not near as attractive. I believe dancing together with your spouse is the greatest gift God has ever given us. And I want to challenge you to learn to dance well together. <laughs>